with total defense, home and home office, go beyond protection. Today's topic, my kids walk through on total defense security suite. Click on the arrow to view the hidden icons. Double click on the total defense icon to open the home screen. To configure the My Kids feature, click on the My Kids window. Click on Click Here to Configure to configure the My Kids feature for the first time after the installation. Enter a valid email address here. Create a new password to configure the administrator account, and it will create an administrative account for My Kids feature. Here the My Kids feature is configured, and an alert will pop up stating that the parent is logged in. You can click on View Details. Here you can view all the settings and change the settings in the admin account. Click on Change Password to change the existing password to a new password. Enter the old password that you created when configuring the My Kids for the first time. Enter the new password that you want to change to. Re-enter the same password to confirm the new password. Click on Cancel to use the existing password if you are not willing to change the password. You can enter a valid email address here to which you want to send the reports. Click on Set to save the email address. Click on Add Image to add an image for your administrator account. You can browse to the location where you have the image saved. Select the image and click on OK to add the image to the profile. Here you can change the time zones. You can select any time zone depending on where your physical location is. Select the box to set the daylight savings time automatically depending on the time zone that you selected. Click on the Apply button to save the changes. Click on Manage Users to add or delete any user profiles. Here you can create a new user profile for your child. Enter the username which you would like to create for your kid. Set the password for the user profile which you created. Click on Set to create the password. Select the age of your child for whom you are creating this profile. You can select another user settings to apply to this profile. You can also add an image to the user profile in a similar way we added before. Click on Next to save the settings. You can select the time where you would like your children to have access to the Internet. After you select the times, click on Next. Depending on the age limit that is selected while creating this profile, the categories are selected by default. Select the Block All Categories if you don't want your child to access any websites which come under the above categories. You can manually select the categories for which you don't want your child to access the websites. Click on the Advanced Settings for Advanced Options. If you want to allow your child to access particular websites, check this box. Block all sites except the sites listed in the Allow or Block list. Enter the website address here. Click on Add. Once the website is added into the exception list, click on Next to set the application filters. Click on Advanced Settings to allow or block the file sharing application. Select one application and click on the drop down button to change the settings. Select the appropriate option that you want to select. If you want to allow or block the message applications, click on Advanced Settings. Select an instant message application and click on the drop down to select the appropriate action. You can select multiple applications for which you want to allow or block. Scroll down and click on the advanced settings if you want to allow or block an instant messenger. You can specify keywords or contact names to block on instant messaging. Enter the keyword which you would like to block and click on add. Once you add a keyword, it will show up under Blocked Keywords. Click here if you would like to remove the blocked keyword. Click on Finish to complete the profile. Click on the username to view and modify the settings. Click on the Report tab to view the child activity on the Internet. Here you can view all activities of your child. Click on the history of what your child has done so far. You can see all the accessed URLs, allowed sites and blocked sites, and blocked URLs. You can set a user as a default user account. You see the user set for a default user. You can remove a user from the user profiles. You can configure the alerts for the user profile. You can allow the maximum number of restricted content access attempts. Select the number of attempts. 
enter the website address that has to be shown for a block site, and click on Apply after you change the website address. You can view the history and reports here. You can click on the Email Summary Reports if you want to receive the email of summary reports. You can select the number of days for which you want the email report. You can clear the log as well. You will receive a detailed report to the email address that is set by selecting this option. You can get a daily report or a weekly report or a monthly report. You can set a password for the report for the zip file. You can change the login user as well to change the settings. Select the desired username. Enter the password to log in. An alert will pop up after the logged in user changes. Let's see how it works on a category which is selected. The child tries to log on to a shopping website, for instance, eBay. They will see a blocked page stating the website is blocked by the parental controls and the needs to enter the override password to access the website. Once the password is entered, the user will be able to view the website. This completes the My Kids walkthrough on Total Defense Security Suite video presentation. Visit totaldefense.com for more details. Thank you for watching.